Hi everyone, Ian here. So today I'm going to be talking about upgrading the storage on my Steam Deck, which is exciting, but nonetheless nerve-wracking. We've actually got to take this thing apart, take the back off, and insert new storage into it. This should be a simple process, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll see how we get on. So uh, with all that all said, uh, let's uh, jump into things. Now to do this, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a computer for one thing because you need to I've got my Mac here because uh, you're going to need to use something to create a Steam OS image you're going to need a new drive I've got here a 256 gig Kyoxia branded one this was actually 18 pounds which is really good um, and anything bigger than that is crazy here in the UK in, in prices I think so I don't really want to do anything bigger I've also got USB C stick here um, you can use USB-C or USB-A. You need this to uh, flash the SteamOS image onto. You're also going to need a Phillips screwdriver. I think it's a number one. Um, I've got a couple of different options here potentially to use. Also going to need a tool to be able to open your, to pry open the back of the Steam Deck. Now, <laughs> most people recommend getting an iFixit kit which has the screwdrivers and uh, um, pry tools included. I do not have one of them, uh, so I'm going to be using these SIM card tools. These are plastic and hopefully should work fairly well. You can use guitar pick type things as well. So if you take a look at the Steam Deck now, we've actually got an uh, internal drive with only 19.4 gigabytes free. Um, I've actually moved everything over onto my micro SD card already, games, etc. So I'd be interested to see if this is going to work when I reboot and whether it's going to pick up the games that I already have because downloading all that is going to be a major pain in the ass otherwise. The first thing we need to do here is to turn this thing off and make sure it's completely powered down. So you go into power and turn it to shut down. Okay, so recommendation here is that actually you don't start this process until this battery is down to like 25% because then you've got less risk of things exploding as you um, take it apart. So to create the image that you need on your USB-C drive, you need to head to the Steam OS recovery page, which you can Google and find. And within that, there's a link to download an image for Steam OS. And then you need to use a tool appropriate for your OS, whether you're using Windows. I was on a Mac, so I was using Belina Etcher. The simple process of writing it out to the thumb drive. It takes quite a long time for this image to be written out when you're doing it on Mac OS, at least. Um, and my computer actually went to sleep and failed and then I had to wake it up. So be aware if your power settings are set up like that, you're probably going to need to be by your machine to keep it awake as it's writing out the image. So this is ready to go now and all we need to do is um, pull it open. Now a tip here is that actually you could use the case to sit this in as you're taking the screws out. I'm just keeping it like this so that you can see more clearly what's going on so hopefully this is, uh, this is a bit more easy for you to see. Now there's actually eight screws here on the back, there's uh, four in the corners, four in the middle. These are different lengths, and so you want to be careful about keeping them separate, but apparently it should be fairly obvious because they are quite visibly different. Ah, one thing I haven't done, which is really important, is take out this. You're not going to be able to get the back off of the case unless you've got this out. So I've heard some horror stories about people breaking their SD cards as they were trying to pry the back off. So yeah, be sure that's out. Okay, so we got those four out. Let's see what these ones are like. So yeah, you can see that they're much bigger in I want to be careful taking these out because you don't really want to lose the thread on them. So now we're on to the scary bit, or the scariest bit. Basically, we've got to try and pry this open all the way around here. 
and it's been said um, on other guides that actually the best place to go in is at the top of this corner here and get in between here. So <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so I've had to lever this with my finger in order to get even a wide enough gap. I have to be careful because I don't really want to be pressing buttons there. Okay, so we're in there. Okay, cool. That was pretty difficult to get in actually. So while you're doing this, you really want to be careful that you're not actually going to accidentally do anything like uh, press the power button, which I've actually just done. So yeah. <laughs> don't do that, because you definitely don't want it on. Okay, so SteamOS has decided to install an update when I've accidentally turned it off and on. That's interesting. Let's turn this off properly. That is something that you don't want to do. You do not want it powered on at all. So be careful while you're trying to get this open. I need the side ready to come off. Ah, oh, I've done it again for crying out loud. How not to uh, upgrade your scene. Do not turn the power button on after you've turned it off several times. This is what happens when you don't have the appropriate tools, right? So yeah, there's uh, four screws here, there's one here, there's one here, and there's actually one under here. I've already taken the one out here. I'm using, not using this one anymore, because it seems like these screws seem much smaller. This one has been really tough. What I might do, put it in the case, because I feel like I'm pushing it way too hard. Try that instead and see if it helps at all. That is not helpful, chucking them. Okay, that one's come out now. You need to peel back this tape, um, and there's a screw underneath there. So we need to peel back this. There's another screw there. This looks like a big one. So I'll take that out. So I'm keeping all these screws separate just to make sure that I'm not losing anything. I'm hoping that's completely free then. Which is why is it stuck? It's a rogue screw I've not got. Oh no, there we go. So that shield just comes out. There's a load of things on the back there, so you've got some paste and things going on. The thing we need to do now, it's been fairly hairy up until now. The thing we need to do now is unplug this from the battery because that is not something we want to be doing is switching out the so this has a little ribbon cable which I believe you can pull on a bit sensitive to pull that because that feels like it's pulling away from the thing that's already there let's try and wiggle this out by on its own Okay, so this is a pull tab, so it should just pull away, I guess. Okay. 
So for that pull tab is just completely glued down and not working. So that is ripping. You can see that there. That doesn't seem like so the official iFixit guide says to pull this pull tab. And you can see what's happening there. It, I don't want to pull that anymore because it's not going to come off. So this power connector is proving to be a real pain in the ass here. Um, even with me trying to use something to get behind it and pull it along, I'm just, it's just pushing back in. So yeah, Valve, I do not think much of your pull cord here. It is completely torn and yeah. Okay, I think we're there. Oh wow. That was... That cable is so... so tight there. Wow. Yeah. Okay. After that massive interlude, what we need to do now is probably press the power button a few times just to make sure there's no power in that battery. And then we need to take out this... Uh, yeah, so we do basically cycle the power so that we have not got any power in the machine and that we're not taking out the EMMC whilst we are dealing with charge in the machine. So we've got one last screw to take out here. And then what we're going to do is take out this uh, EMMC, take out the EMMC, and we want to hold on to this silver piece of foil because actually that's going to wrap around that's a protective layer and that's going to wrap around our new drive okay just getting it over the label there slide back in okay Whew. now after all that i got to put the power connector back in <laughs> And there you go, it's actually much easier to pop in than it is to take out. Simple. Just that ribbon cable. If that hadn't half torn, we would be flying. But that took me probably 15 minutes to ease out after that. Then we need to reassemble this and put everything as it was. So carefully putting back in these screws that are the large one first. Don't need to tighten these up crazy. Just so it's sealed. It was going down nicely there. Size. Okay. They're all back on. Nice. So let's proceed by clipping this case back on now. Again, I don't really want to press the power button while I'm doing this. So now that everything's hooked back in, I don't think it's going to be. Some stick needs to be clicked in, and I think we're all okay around the edges there. So I'm going to wait a sec and um, not put the screws back in just yet. Got a thumb drive which obviously has SteamOS already on it. Now what we need to do here is hold both the volume down and the power button and then release the power button when we hear a chime sound. So I'll do that now. Okay, so we got into the manager and we can see that our Kioxia drive has popped up. So that's one thing that's a little bit helpful. I'm going to plug this in now. It should just pop up when I plug it in. There we go. 
So if I select that with the D-pad, there we go. Let's go with the booting off of that drive, the sun drive. Something is happening. Okay, so now we are in SteamOS, which is good. And things are still working, which is great. <laughs> so we want to select here is re-image Steam Deck. And actually, I think it's the trigger that we use for that. So it says they'll permanently erase everything on it, which is fine. And use the trigger again to select proceed. And then I will leave this to do its thing. How long is this going to take? I'm honestly just very glad that this is working after all that. Okay, so it's finished. We need to reboot. And I guess at this point we should really take that out. I'll wait for it to actually reboot. Let's take that out. And we're into the original Steam setup menu. So I'm going to go through this. I will skip this out of the video because that's not going to be particularly interesting to anyone. And I'll come back to you at the end. So I'm back and I'm glad to say it's actually worked. It is some time later. It is the next day. I'll explain why in a second. But as you can see, it's worked. We have the internal drive. We have the micro SD card. All the games on the micro SD card are working correctly. And so I'm glad that I don't have to re-download everything. Um, but yeah, the reason why it's taken me so long is actually getting SteamOS downloaded and installed. My Wi-Fi connection has not been so great over the last day. We've got works in the area, so it's been quite slow. And it was only when it kind of came back in uh, to be over like 10 megabytes a second locally that uh, I was able to download SteamOS. Prior to that I was getting uh, you get an install screen and it was just repeating itself and there's a lot of things about on the internet on the reddit forums and whatnot that uh, people experience this problem so I would say if you do experience that try a different internet connection and check uh, whether or not you can in what your Wi-Fi speeds like. So yeah, I'm really glad that it's um, worked. Um, I've been in, played a few games already. I have been enjoying playing Batman again on the sofa. I've sealed all this up again, so we've put the screws back in as well, and everything's as it should be. So I'm really glad. So what have we learned here? We've learned that you should not use random bits of plastic for prying open your Steam Deck. You should use an official spudger or toolkit. We've learned that the ribbon cable inside is very flimsy and that you should not try and pull on that. You're better off using a spudger tool to get that um, power cable out. And we've learned that you need a decent Wi-Fi connection to be able to download and reinstall SteamOS. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a like. Um, consider subscribing to the channel where I do more of this sort of stuff. I've done a video on coding on the Steam Deck as well, where I try and install Python and use it for programming. So be sure to check that one out. And I'll see you soon in a new video. All right, bye for now. My finger really hurts. Um.